Hey you guys, it's Marie here at Planet Marie and today we are doing the rest of the Goodwill branded um, lot. We're going to call this Goodwill branded part two. I'm just going to take it and just spill it out just to get it out of the bag. And I'm just going to move it all over to the side and we're going to bring it in little by little, okay? All right, so we have our mannequins here. Let's see, we have a watch. And let me pull you a little further up. There we go. A watch again. Um, as you know, or as some of you may know, I just, um, I collect the watches and then sell them to people who make crafts with them or people who repair watches. If anybody's interested in something like that, just let me know, and um, I'll get you some, uh, we'll get some watches to you. You can tell me how many you want, what style, if you like silver tone, round faces, big numbers, what, whatever. I have a lot of watches. Here's another one. So I just put those aside when we come across them, okay? So right here, I'm seeing a little pair of um, earrings, little silver earrings. And I think they could possibly be um, sterling. And my trusty little magnet it was here. What happened to it? I had all my tools of the trade. Here it is. It went to the side. It jumped. They are magnetic, so um, to my knowledge, that is a sign that they would not be sterling. Although the hoop part isn't magnetic at all. Maybe a tiny bit. Let me take them apart. They're super cute. Let me just check them for a mark real quick, you guys. Uh, I don't see anything. I don't see a mark on them at all. And they're magnetic. So, anybody wants a little pair of hoops we'll do these for um we'll put them in the um two for five club so they'll be three dollars and if you buy two pairs of earrings in the five dollar in the two for five club they will be two for five so just grab another pair and it's two for five all right so we have a broken something or other this is a pretty pendant, though, that could be used. Looks like all of its stones are there. Okay, so I will put this into crafting because it has a nice component right there that somebody um, can use to craft with. Okay, that goes into crafting. Oh, we have a nice bracelets this looks like it's probably a Monet let me see I see a name in there let me pull, I'm just gonna pull it away out of frame so I can look with my loop indeed this is a Monet very nice condition hang on I'm just gonna polish the inside real quick outside of camera here outside of frame because it looks like it's really shiny in there. It looks almost like there's no wear on it. It's super duper shiny on the inside. And it has like a brushed silver tone finish and the little diamond cut stars. All right, we will do um, uh, let's do 10 bucks for the Monet. Silver bangle bracelet. Really pretty. It looks like new. It really looks brand new. Um, and I don't think Monet does sterling, so I'm going to guess it's just a uh, silver tone. So we'll do 10 bucks on the Monet. Who wouldn't want that? Let, let me just get the sizer. It's beautiful. Yeah, 
it sits right at about eight inch. Okay. Beautiful, 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 like new. Like new, and it has that pretty, pretty print on it. There's your diameter. So it's a little bit bigger than your average. All right. And also, you guys, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to put, not on the earrings, but on the other pieces, I'm going to number the jewelry because I think that might make it easier. I'm kind of doing it as an experimental way. I'm going to give the number, I'm going to give each item a, um, a number. So we're going to call this um, piece number one, okay? The Monet bracelet. And I'm going to put the price right on the bag. So when you tell me... Um, the pieces, when you email me and let me know what piece or pieces you want, all you have to do is give me the title and the and the item number. If you want this money bracelet, you just say item number one. You don't have to tell me the price um, or describe the piece. You just give me the number and um, that's all you have to do. And of course the title of the video so I know which number one I'm going to because I would imagine I'm probably going to recycle numbers so I'll use, you know, start other videos with number ones maybe or maybe not i don't know i'm gonna feel it out but for now these pieces are going to be numbered okay so number one okay i think that makes it easier then you don't have to describe it you don't have to remember the price etc all right next up taking my point you tell out next up you guys um i see more earrings so i'm just gonna um keep them over here in my earring dish all right, I'm going to have my odd earrings here. And as I find matches, we'll put them in here. And the ones that are pairs, we'll put them in here, okay? And these are two for five going in this little caddy. And we have a Napier earring. Very nice. Brand new on card. Lavender. It looks like it's wrapped. It's like a fabric wrap. And then beads or stones, I should say. They feel glass. Beautiful with silver tone. This um, is stationary. This part of it is stationary here. Like this doesn't slide. And the stones are dangly. Very nice. They were on clearance, I suppose, for $9.96. Originally $20. Hmm. These are pretty. Very pretty. Silver tone hoops from Napier with these. Um, like little stones in lavender and very light mint green, kind of with a um, mother of pearl-ish finish on some of them. We'll do these for five, okay? And they're about um, an inch across. Maybe I'll give these a number. I don't know. I'm kind of winging it as I go. I'll give these a number, too. The two for five earrings, I won't give a number. But the ones that are going to be more than that, I'm going to give a number, too. So I'm going to put this in the baggie. Yeah, I feel, feel like this is going to take up a little bit of extra time, but I'm going to get quick at it. All right, so this is item number two, okay? Napier earring, item number two. That's all you got to tell me. And then I pick item number two. The price is on it already. You don't have to remember anything other than the name of the video and the number. Okay, next up we have some plastic faux pearls. Appear to be in very nice condition with gold tone hardware, little cap beads, and a nice hook. I love the hook because they're so easy to put on. And it does, oh, it's branded. It looks like 1923. I can see that just with my glasses on. But let me double check. 1928. It looks like it says 1928. There might be two jewelry companies with a 19 something. But this is 1928. There, it looks like an 8. Let's put this on. Easy peasy with our little hook into any one of these holes that you like. Very pretty. It's only plastic. 
Um, but it's very pretty. And we will do this for four dollars, okay? Four dollars. Oh, let me get you guys a measurement on it. You can see it has an extender at its shortest drop, it's about six inches, so it can be a nice little choker. Or if you want it to hang a little lower or you know around the collarbone, you have another three inches there. All right. Anybody's interested in this pearl necklace by 1928? Let's just say number three. Four dollars. Alright. Another watch. Kind of a square. Some stones. Again, if anybody's interested in watches, just send me an email and we'll figure something out. Here's an earring card, very nice, by a brand named Bogot. I'm not familiar with it, but these look very nice. Enamel, enamel and rhinestones there. Black enamel and gold tone, and the heart enamel. New on card, we'll do $6 for the Bogot earrings. $6. Number four. You want these earrings? Just tell me number four. All right. Pretty. All right. Next up, we have a necklace. Beaded plastic beads. The sparkly um, type. They're like a turquoise color and a brown cord. Oh, there's a brand. We have a brand here, gold tone toggle closure. Let me just see the brand. Pulling it out of frame for a moment. It's called Jambra. It looks like Jambrox. New York City, NYC. It's a little crown, and then like a little design logo. Or Jam rocks. Jam rocks. No. I'm so sorry, you guys. Jamie rocks, I think. Jamie rocks is what it says. New York City. At any rate, plastic beads, brown cord, and then it um, kind of just comes to this Y. give you an idea there we'll do this for four dollars okay Jamie or jam rocks blue beaded let me get a measurement four dollars and I'll give it a number in a second <sighs> Uh, what do you guys think of this? Or is it easier to describe the piece than to remember the number? I don't know. Let me know. I'm kind of just doing it as an experiment. So, your drop, you guys, and this, this piece is not movable here. It doesn't slide or anything. So, your, your drop length, and it's not adjustable, your drop is um, about 13 inch. So, it has a 13 inch drop. And then this hangs longer. Then after your drop, You've got another like nine inches there, okay? And this will be number five if you're interested in this necklace. You're just gonna tell me you want number five. Let me just untangle it. Number five. And my black pen fell. So now I'm using purple, number five for four dollars. All right, next up we have coming in with some gold. All right, this is heavy, like a Cuban link gold tone. Looks like we have a brand. Just see what we got here. 
Nina Ricci. Hmm. I'm going to look this up. Nina Ricci with um, like rhinestones there on the clasp. A little wear. You got some wear there. Um, but the chain portion looks really nice. It's very heavy. Very heavy. Let's put it on. Well, that clasp is interesting. It's in the back. Oh, it's on both sides. So let's make sure everything's in working order. What am I doing wrong? Let me just... Hmm... Is it broke? Oh, I think the clasp is broken. This should have like that whole squeezy part on the top and it's just one stick. It's just like the stick. So I don't think that's, yeah, that's what it's, oh, I'm going in upside down, but still that's, it's missing that part. Like as if it broke off. Let me see if it'll stay on with that. It still stays on with this, but that is a flaw. Um, but if you snap on the safety part, it stays on. It is Nina Ricci. It's very shiny. It's clean. There is no tarnish on the chain. And let's just take a look at it back here. Let's make sure it looks good. Yeah. I mean, that clasp isn't um, whole there. You know, that little press down clasp. So you have this little action going on, but it's closed. Let me try it again because it just came out, but I was yanking on it. Um, I, I don't want to put it in crafting. I may get it fixed. Um, yeah, yeah, I don't think it's going to stay just by the safety clasp. Um... But if anybody's interested in it, let me know. Um, it can be fixed. Damn, or have that clasp replaced. Yeah, that's not gonna. That's not gonna be. Um, that's not gonna be secure. But I may um, research it if the piece has any value. Like it might be vintage Nina Ricci or something. You know, obviously it's gold tone. It's not going to be real gold, but um, I'll t I might take it and have it fixed. Or if somebody's interested in it um, and getting it fixed, let me know. Um, but I'm just going to research on the price first, okay? So I'm not going to give that a number right now. I'm just going to set that aside. If you're interested in it, um, just, just email me um, and I'm going to research it. And what I'll do, if I don't hear from anybody that's interested, I'll research it. And then in the next video, I'll come back and let you know what I found out. Any history on it, okay? This is a little tangled, very pretty necklace that says love. I'm just get her untangled. It has a brand. It's Anne Klein. It's a box chain. Very pretty. Very nice condition. It says love and it has like little tiny crystals in it. It's in beautiful condition. Box chain. I don't think Anne Klein makes anything sterling, but there's no um there's no magnetic on it. I doubt it's sterling. I mean, I have my test kit. I'll acid test it. But, um, let me put it on the bust. It is beautiful. Look how pretty that is. That is very, very pretty. And Klein. Love. Very pretty. About nice box chain extension. I'm just going to check it for a marking. I don't think it's silver, but uh, let me just give it a quick look. 
No, I don't see any markings. Um, super clean, super shiny. I'm not sure if that's coming across in the video. It has an 8 inch drop and then an extension. And the beautiful hang tag logo. We'll do $10 on this. Beautiful. $10. This will be piece number six. Number six. For $10. That is really nice. There's no wear on it or anything. Just needs to be shined up. I'll polish it up nicely. It's beautiful. Hmm, all right. We're getting some decent stuff here. All right. So, yeah, that's number six. Ten dollars. Love. All right. Up next, we have like a... Feels... I guess plasticky. No, it feels stony. It feels like stones. It sounds like stones and feels like stones. Lavender bead shell type. Don't know. Not sure how to describe this. Like little egg, like those little Easter egg shaped. Little um little moon, little moon there. Moon, little flower shapes. I'm not sure. It's cute. Um, but I'm not sure how I would describe it lavender these egg-shaped beads with the shell looking type beads in between it looks blue on camera but it is definitely lavender in person it has a little um the dangle that's cute i love that you guys know how i love that little when they put a little charm on um, the extender or somewhere in the back of the jewelry. Let me just open up this clasp, get this little hang tag out of my way. Make sure everything's in working order. Yep, nice. Put it on. Let's try it on. Very pretty. Just have to get it back on here. I just like to check the clasps. I know it seems like a little time waster, but I, I really like to check and make sure that everything works. Very pretty. We'll do $6 on this. $6 on the lavender beaded. They feel... I don't know. I don't want to say it's definite. But I think these are glass beads. Either way, um, $6. Let me give you a measure. Like, I'm not trying to rush through the videos. I know that some people like it to move faster. But I do like to show the details. And I do like to do content for people who enjoy just watching even. Even if you don't want to buy it. Some people find it relaxing. And... Um, yeah, I'm not trying to go slow. Eight inch drop, and you have like another inch or so on the extension. I'm not trying to go slow, but I don't want to rush through. I want people to get a good um, look and a good feel for the pieces. In case someone is interested in purchasing, I want them to see what they're getting. I want to make sure everything works, etc. Clasps and all of that. Number seven for six dollars. Oops, I'm right on the wrong side. I went and put a label on each bag. This is piece number seven for six dollars. Lavender. It's pretty. All right. You know, because I'm seeing it for the first time, too. When I do the um, my Goodwill Wednesday, no, because I pick through those and make sure it's all untangled and all of that, but... When I do the mystery boxes, I haven't gone through this stuff either. So I'm kind of being like, ooh, oh, uh, you know, it's my, you know, it's new to me too. Here's another watch. Very nice band. Love me. The, the bracelet bands. Very pretty. 
but I will put that in with my um, my watch lot. We have a silver bracelet with a palm tree and a moon. It is marked inside. I'm taking it out of frame to check. It's marked B-E-S-T, best. I don't know if that's sterling. It is magnetic, so at least the charm is magnetic. This part isn't very lightly, so I don't know. It does appear to have some wear. Next time I do this, i got to sit down with a cloth. Um, I don't see any 925 or anything like that on the band part. Um, I'm just going to bring it up closer. I don't know if it's wear or if it's tarnished. This is magnetic, but the band part is not. It's pretty. It's pretty. It's a palm tree and a moon or some type of tree. Yeah, it looks like a palm tree. Five bucks on that. We'll do five bucks on that. Alright, five buckers. Oh, fuckers, piece number eight. Yeah, this is a little bit of a time consumer, but I think it's going to save everybody time um, when ordering. It's going to be easier for me. It's going to be easier for you guys. You don't have to worry about, you know, similar things. You know, when you have more than one pearl item or, you know, earrings or something that are similar or any any of it, you know, you know, more than one statement necklace, just easier for it to all have a number. All right, this is just a little pin, you guys. We're going to do a buck on this. I don't see a name. Oh, I do see a name. I'm a liar. Right there, I see a little name in there. Let me see what it is. Coro. Okay, we'll do a dollar on the Coro pin. It's not magnetic, but I don't think Coro makes sterling. I'll test it though, just to be sure, but. It's in good shape. Looks like it has a little bit of something, a little, something that needs to be cleaned, like a crumb or something right in there. I'll clean it up. A buck. A buck, a buck, a buck. For the Quora. I'm not going to put it in crafting because I think somebody might like it. It's a good name. And this is piece number nine. Coro pin. One dollar. Where are you going to beat that, huh? Where are you going to beat that? <laughs> Get more than one piece because you don't want to pay a dollar for something that's going to cost five bucks to ship. So I do charge five dollars shipping. So build up your bag with a few things to make it worth the shipping. All right, you guys, we have a statement necklace. This is very pretty. Um, don't know if all the pieces are in it. We'll see that in a moment. Oh, look, there's a missing stone. Very pretty. Though, it's a shame, but I'll put it into crafting. I might find the stone, but... I think it's also broken here because I don't see like where this would hook on t onto what well, yeah see this this is broken because there would be a, a jump ring to close and this little hook it looks like it probably had like another segment or something on it let's see if anything's over here Looks like it matches. Yep. Yep. There it is. Yeah. Yeah, that's broken and another stone missing. 
If I find them, though, um, you know, eh, it's going to go into crafting. Somebody can really enjoy this, making other pieces out of it or fixing it up. If I find the stones, I'll put them in into the crafting bag as well. Next up, we have some cuff links, you guys. Very nice. Gold tone, mother of pearl. Hmm. Let's get a name on this. Destino. Very lightly magnetic. Destino, we'll do five dollars. These are beautiful cufflinks. You know, I'm not familiar with Destino, but they're very nice. I can tell they're in a nice quality. For anybody who wears French cuffs. I wish there was another use for these, like to repurpose them somehow. If anybody knows, let me know. Because there's so many cufflinks around, but I mean, there's not too many guys who wear those kind of cuffs anymore. All right, piece number 10. We're going to do $5. These are really nice. And it looks like genuine mother of pearl. Piece number 10, $5. Cuff links. All right. Another earring. Again, I'm putting all the odds right there. Here is this one. Green, a dark green enamel. These are pretty. Afterthought. Surgical steel posts. So that's nice. Just needs another backing. Let's put these in the two for five club, all right? So they're going to be $3. I'll put another back on. They're going to be $3. Or um, two pairs for five. If you buy two pairs, they're about an inch or so, maybe a little short of an inch. Gold tone, dark green enamel, very pretty. Two for five earring club. An odd earring there. Here's a gold Victoria's Secret. Heavy gold tone with and wings. This might have been like from a campaign or something. Looks nice. Let's see the size. Victoria's Secret Gold Tone. Name on the toggle. Oh, that's little. It's only six. It's falling in at about six. That's not that small, I guess. Six inch. We'll do four dollars on the Victoria Secret. And that's going to be piece number eleven for four dollars. Victoria Secret Gold Tone Chain Number Eleven. Four dollars. All right. I know people are going to give me the number in the description, though. I know that's going to still happen. Pretty chain. We have a wheat, kind of a cylindrical wheat pattern. Gold chain. Very pretty. We're doing pretty good with this batch, I think. It's supposed to be all name brands, too. It's a very nice clasp. This looks like a nice quality. Let me just use the loop to see if there's a name. I don't... See. Oh, here we go. It's Napier Patent Pending. Really nice gold tone. It's in beautiful condition. It's spotless. It is spotless. Look at that clasp, too. It's a beautiful clasp. Napier. We'll do 15 on this. Give you a measurement. Napier gold tone. It's beautiful. It's it's spotless. There's no wear on this whatsoever. It 
It has an 11 inch drop and it's not adjustable. Beautiful. gonna be number 12 for 15 buckaroonies uh, 15 number 12 all right let's see guys let's see well we have another go let's go with this Ooh. fancy schmancy another gold chain See any markings? Hmm. Oh, there's a little teeny tiny brand. I'll take it out of frame to check out the brand. It says Classic. Like classic with a Q at the end. Classic Korea. Classic Korea. It's a flat gold tone chain. Uh, I guess this would be like sort of herringbone ish. It is magnetic. We don't have gold. Don't everybody be like, no, that was gold, Marie. What are you crazy? What are you doing? Nope, it's magnetic. There's a little tiny kink in it right here, like just slightly imperfect right there, barely, but I can, I can see it. I can feel it right there. Let me see. Let me show you on this so you can see where the little flaw is right here. I don't know if you can even really see it. It's just slightly not perfectly flat right there. I don't know. It's hard to see. But it's in beautiful condition. I don't know the brand, but it's called Classic Korea. And it's a beauty. We'll do 10 on this. We'll do 10. And this chain will be number 12, 13. This is number 13 and we'll do ten dollars not familiar with the brand but it is really it has that tiny little spot where it's not perfectly flat but it's really nice it's a good it's a good faux it's a good faux gold looks like it has a little spot right there I don't know if it's dirt or what, but look at that. It's in beautiful shape. Beautiful, a beautiful shape. Ten dollars. And that's number thirteen. Number thirteen. I'm gonna have to do a screenshot. All you gotta do is remember the number. Some people like um We'll just write, sit down with a pad and they write down like the items that they want and the timestamps. You can do it like that, where you can just write down. I mean, in this case, you don't need the timestamp, just the number of the item. But you can write down, maybe sit down with a pad when you're watching your jewelry um, videos. I have one buyer that um, that does that, and I thought that was a great idea. And then she sent me a um, a photograph of her handwritten list. I thought that was cool. Um, but in this case, uh, it's just numbers. This looks like just a mesh kind of thing, but it looks damaged, kind of smooshed in some areas. And just kind of not quite right. I will put in crafting, because I think these little stones are very pretty. Oh, I'm out of frame, sorry. Um... Yeah, it doesn't look right to me. It looks kind of twisted and like it feels meshy. Like I'm not even sure if this is 
metal or just like a some kind of fabricy type of a mesh. I'm gonna put it in crafting. Let me not spend time on it. Alrighty. Uh, okay, we have some earrings. Let's put them over here. I'm just gonna keep them right out here where I can see them though. I have the camera in front of me, so it's a little bit of a challenge. It's kind of blocking my view. These are cute little caged pearl. Now, oh, we had a necklace with caged pearls. It was Avon. Was it an it was a bracelet? It was a bracelet with little caged pearls. Um in the last lot. I'll find it. These must go with it. These are probably eight. I mean, if not, they look very similar. These are Napier. All right, so then they, I'm sorry, it doesn't go with it. I had, I just did a, uh, I forget which video it was recently. It was a, an Avon gold tone bracelet with little caged pearls that look very similar. So I thought, ooh, maybe this is a set, but no. These, this is Napier, and here's the other one. These are going to be $5. $5. These are going to be $5. They have the clip, and then you can refine it with the screw back if you'd like to make it tighter. Okay, works great. They're super duper clean. They're very, very pretty. Napier, a little clip on with um, the screw backs. And there's a little pearl on the part that sits on your lobe super super cute beautiful beautiful condition there's no wear on them the gold is all intact i'll give these guys a number okay number 14 is the napier caged pearl earrings we'll do those for five dollars All right, let's see. We're getting down to the wire. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, and ooh. This is pretty. This is pretty. There's an earring. Gold tone. Silver tone. We have this red necklace. Very pretty. Oh, oh, oh. We have a gold tone delicate here. Spring ring, so could be a uh, vintage here. Let's look at let's look at our gold tone first. It has a tag. Going to pull it out of frame to see the brand. It is Avon. It's Avon. Wow. Wowity wow. This is very pretty. It's delicate. It has little tiny blue stones. Look. One, two, three, four, five, three little blue stones. Very pretty very very pretty delicate it's it's in beautiful shape okay and it's probably vintage vintage avon necklace look how pretty that is if you like delicate this would be for you if you like blue and you like delicate and you like avon and you like vintage it's in perfect shape it looks beautiful it's beautiful we'll do 12 for this let's do 12 for the avon i'll get a measurement on it really pretty and super clean it's beautiful avon made some nice stuff they really did or i or do i guess they still do there's no adjustment on it, so it's going to be like around the 
would hit around the collarbone area on like an average neck. It's a seven inch, so it's just a 14 inch necklace. All right, we'll do $12 for that. It's gonna be number 15. If you're interested in this, it's gonna be number 15. And we're doing this for $12. Avon. Very pretty. All right, that was piece number 15. All right, we have this really pretty red. Really pretty with a black, it looks like a black chain. They're a very dark brown, hard to tell. Oh yeah, it's more like a bronze. It's more like a dark brown, you guys, all right? So it's not black, it's a dark brown. It's a Y necklace. And here's like your two hanging, like two tassels, one's longer than the other. That's nice. Very nice. Um, I'm going to say these are plastic stones. They feel plastic to me. They are faceted, so you're getting some sparkle out of it, as you can see. Um, just put it on the white. There's a brand on it also. I'll get that for you in a second. I see a tag. All right, and the two. I'll do this for eight dollars. Let me see what brand it is. Robert Rose. I'm not real familiar with Robert Rose, but it's very pretty. Has the um lobster clasp closure. Eight bucks. If it was glass, I would go higher because it is that pretty, but they're plastic stones. They're still beautiful. It's still beautiful. It has a ten inch drop and then about three inch extension. And then you have all of this. Then this is extra length. All right, so Robert Rose necklace is going to be piece number 16. For eight dollars. Number 16 for eight bucks. All right. There's a lot more. There's actually a lot of little stuff. I probably am not going to finish it because at this point, well, I'm at three. I'm at about forty minutes, maybe right now. Or yeah, I can go longer. Just that the longer the video is, the longer it takes to get it uploaded. And I want to get this up tonight. I'm seeing a necklace here with an earring. This is very pretty. All right, we're doing good with this lot. Another Y necklace. Amber colored. I'm not saying it's amber. I'm saying it's amber or topaz colored stones. I don't know what kind of stones they are because I don't have a gem tester, so I can't even really get us in the area of what it is. But it does feel glass. These do feel like glass to me. Gold tone, kind of almost brassy gold, like a darker gold or a brass tone, but. Mm, I don't know if I had to... Yeah, it's gold tone. There's the back. Gold tone. Let's see. Am I going to put it on white or black? I think it's going to pop better on the... Mm, I think the white. Let's go on white with it. So we have a topaz or amber colored Y necklace. Yeah. Yeah, very pretty. 
they feel like glass stones they're faceted there's little tiny crystals or something in these guys you do have to flip it there we go let me just bring it up close so you can see the detail This is really pretty, and there's obviously earrings to match. I didn't get to, and it's really in good shape. Like, there's no wear on it. Really nice. No tarnish. It's very clean. CH. I don't know who CH is. I'll test this. You know what? I'm going to test this because I'm not getting any pull on this at all. And I'm not familiar with CH, so I'll get back to you guys on that. Probably not gold, but, you know, I'm just going to make sure because there's no, there's no pull on it at all. Here's the earring. Yeah. I hope there's the other earring for it, too. Some of the little bits from the last video when I was going through them, I just bagged up real quick when we were doing the earrings and we had leftover. Um, so there are both earrings and necklace. I'll let you guys know in the next video, okay? I'm gonna this will be featured in my next video and with a price for whoever's interested. It's beautiful. If I don't keep it. <laughs> no. Um, there's the earring. Oh, this is really pretty, you guys. Nice, like, chandelier earring. Look. Look how pretty that is. This is gorgeous. It all looks like all the stones are in it. Look. Oh, yeah. I'm going to test it, because who knows? I don't know if anybody knows this brand, let me know. It's a beautiful set. Either way, it's going to be a few bucks because it's gorgeous. But I will test it and we'll feature it in the next one. All right, you guys. Um, I'm seeing a bracelet, like a elastic. Glass for sure. Nice. Nice and tight. It's coming in at around six and a half, like unstretched. I am not sure what kind of stone this is. I can't imagine anybody would put jade or something of that value on an elastic. Um, but it could be a, a stone, a natural stone. I, I don't know. This one, too, I'm going to research a little bit more. All right. If you're interested, let me know in an email. I'll research it, and I'll give you a price. Okay. Um, another flower bracelet. Very pretty. Very, very pretty. Look at this. Ooh. Stem and leaves. Oh, we got, a heart. this has got to be bright, and this looks like bright, and yep. Yeah. Just double check with the loop. Yeah. That's the Brighton B. When I saw this, it, it um, indicated, oh, that's, you know, probably Brighton, but, you know, some people do use these heart lobsters other jewelry makers but when you see the b um no uh, this is pretty i don't i'm gonna research this too because i've never seen this i've seen a lot of brighton in my time but i've never seen this so i don't know if it's um so it's gonna be seven to eight inches with the extension it's in beautiful shape. It's so clean. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. 
Look how bright and how this lot, you guys. Look how pretty that is. It's like a um, gold and silver tone. Wow. It's beautiful and it's so clean. It doesn't even look used. I don't know. Maybe a store liquidation or something. Who would who would donate that? Something that pretty. That's beautiful. Let me look this up and see before I give a price, you guys, because I I'm not familiar with this with this pattern on Brighton or what they go for. So I'm gonna look that one up too. So we have three pieces now that we will I will let you guys know in the next one after I research them. Also, again, if you're interested, don't let that stop you that I haven't priced it. Let me know in an email. I will research and then um, give you the prices, okay? This one is branded, this brooch. It's very pretty, very clean, silver tone twist. It's a Monet. And we'll do $5 on the Monet. It's beautiful, super clean, brand new condition. And we are up to piece number 17. And it's that big. <laughs> I'm going to stop trying to do fractions. I'm just going to show you guys the visual. There's how big it is. I don't know. Is that an inch and a half? Inch and something, something, sixteenth? I don't know. But there is your Monet. Beautiful little twist brooch for $5. Piece number 17, you guys. Just give me a number. That's all you got to do and we'll see how this goes i think it's going to be easier for everyone involved all right next up oh, i'm in a great mood that's this is nice we got some nice pieces at the end here that amber topaz set a brighton bracelet a stone i don't know what kind of stone this is that could be a kind of a stone you guys let me know it looks it looks natural like it has natural like Whatever you call that, imperfections. I don't know. If you guys know anything about this. Let me know. All right, next up we have, this looks branded as well. Some kind of, I don't know, M or W. Oh, LC, LC. Um, is it Liz Claiborne, you guys, Elsie? Um, there's two Elsie designer. One is Liz Claiborne, one is Laura, Lauren Conrad. But I think this is, I think this is Liz Claiborne. Let me know. I don't know. It's very pretty. It's plastic, just plastic, gold tone. We're going to do this for four bucks. Movable little beads. Let me just. Center them. Four dollars for the LC. We'll give a measurement on it. Seven inch drop, no adjustment. All right, so you got a 14 inch necklace. All right, so this is piece number 18 for four dollars. Number 18 for four bucks. All right, you guys. So we have a lot of like miscellany here. And oh, here's a stone to that necklace. So I'll put that in with it. Oh, it's going in a crafting lot, but I will bag that right with the necklace in the crafting lot. So the crafter can fix it. Um, I have a bunch of like little miscellany. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go do this one last necklace. 
And then these earrings, I know we pulled a couple of these. Like here we have this one. I don't know the brands. I have to look these look look at them, but I think I'm gonna round it out with two more pieces. And then this stuff, there's another chain. I'm gonna bring into the next into the next video, you guys. It's getting a little bit long. Um, so we still have a, a little handful of goodies here to do. And we, like I said, we will finish the earrings in the next one. All right, let me show you two more items though. And we'll wrap this up. We have a bracelet, big ol' um, spring ring, big ol'. This looks like it might have been like handmade, plastic, little beads, and blue in between, like a tortoise shell beads. Whatever you want to call these, they're plastic. Um, let me just close. It's a really big spring ring. It looks, I'm not sure why they would use such a big spring ring, but I mean, it works. It's kind of pretty. It's lightweight. And it falls in at seven and a quarter. We'll go two dollars. All right. Piece number 19. Two dollars for that. Pretty. Piece number 19. $2. And the last one we'll do for this lot, and I will do the rest of these earrings. I might do just like an earring lot, maybe um, one night. Yeah, maybe I'll do that because there's so many earrings. Um, is this really pretty pendant? This, another like a topazy or amber colored. Um, with sort of a pattern in there, which comes from the back. It has this gold tone pattern on the back that when you flip it over, you can see the pattern through this piece of domed acrylic. I'm pretty sure that's acrylic, yeah. That does not feel like glass. It feels like a hard plastic. And these beads also feel like plastic. Um, but there's the necklace. Very pretty. Very pretty. Let's see if there's a brand. Gold Tone. There is a brand name on here. It's a Monet. Jeez. Huh. Feels like plastic. But it is a Monet. We'll do $12 for this Monet, okay? Bring it over here to the light. There we go. Light blue. Amber colored. Topazy peach. It's nice. 12 bucks. Let me get a measurement. Uh, let me give you it at its shortest. The shortest would be a seven and a half inch drop. And then your extension is another two and a half. So seven and a half to nine and a half inch drop. Approximately two inch on the pendant. And we'll do $12. This is piece number 20. Piece number 20 for $12. Beautiful Monet. Really nice. Monet is one of my favorite designers. And then we have the earrings, of course, in the... Um, two for five club. And, you know, look at my other videos too, you guys, because there's other earrings that it's going to be the same deal. Okay. 
Um, just let me know any two pairs you want. And if I still have them, you can have them in the two for five. This I'm going to just have looked at and see if there's any value in having it repaired. And that wraps it up for today. I will look into the Brighton bracelet and that beautiful topaz and gold tone or gold set and the jade-like bracelet. And I will get back to you guys um, in the next video with prices and what these items, um, you know, a little more information about these items. The rest of these, um, it looks like mostly earrings, if not all earrings. We'll go into it. Um, I'll do either an earring video or, um, you know, I'll just do some of them in the next round. Or maybe I'll put them in jewelry jars. I don't know. I have so many ideas of things to do. But for now, we're going to wrap it up tonight. Thanks so much for tuning in, you guys. Let me know which was your favorite piece. Please hit the like button. It really helps my channel grow and to come up in the YouTube search when people are looking for content of this kind. Um... So, yeah, um, I'll see you guys soon in the next one. Have a great night, everybody. Take care. Thanks. Bye.